Well, howdy, folks. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing dandy. Uh, it is uh, Labor Day. Happy Labor Day. And I am on my front porch looking at this window. And I've got to figure out how it comes out. Um, I don't know. Um, I don't know if those are weep holes or what. I don't know what that stuff is. But um, I'm going to attempt to cut along here, I think, and I am not positive that it, I don't know if it pushes in, pushes out into the house or pushes, uh, well, pushes in, into the inside of the house or out uh, to the front porch here. So I am going to uh, try to set my camera up and I'm going to try to score uh, with a razor all the way down through here. There are, I'll have to bring you back in, there are two, there's a screw up here, and then there is another one down there, maybe two on each, I'm not sure. Um, and see if I can figure out how the heck this thing comes out of here. So stay tuned, uh, I'll bring you back here shortly. All right, I was doing some checking because I was outside and I was looking at how the heck the take this thing out of here. Well, let me turn this around. Um, here's a nice pro tip for you. Uh, no thank you to Atrium Windows. Uh, that's who. They're reliable. Atrium owns them. Um, their instructions for doing, actually, they don't really have any instructions, period. They suck. But I did happen to find a video 13 years ago from MI, I think it was MI Windows, that kind of goes over how to do this. And if you've seen my other video, I wish I had stumbled upon that video a whole lot sooner. Anyway, I have some of these plastic. They're pretty thick. Uh, I think I got them at Harbor Freight. Pry tools. And what you do is you just put it down the edge and then kind of put it in behind. I'll show you here in a sec. So that's the right side. Um... You put it between the side frame right here and this piece, and you put it up, get, that's the tricky part, is getting it in behind here. But once you get it started, and you wanna do the sides first, you just pry it away. come out. I wish I would have known that <laughs> when I did that other window. Okay, we're going to leave the top one in. We're going to get up under this bottom one here. Pop it up. Okay, there is a method to that madness right there. So that's the bottom. Okay, so these there are little, let's see if I can zoom in on them. You're looking at the bottom of the window. I don't know. This is going to work. There are two little alignment things right here and right here. So if you, because uh, now what I got to do, there's two down here, there's one here. Let me back up so you guys can see. You'll see well enough. There's little plastic standoffs, and then what they do is they center the window in the frame. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, climb outside and try to cut. Try to cut. And I hope I can reach in behind there. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Um, hold on a second, because I'm going to go get me a putty knife. Because I don't think my razor is going to get in behind there. So hold on a sec. Okay, got a putty knife. Now, uh, you see me out on the front porch earlier. That is not how you take this out. So I will have to recaulk that. No biggie. Some of the caulk was looking kind of crappy. Um, 
I'm going to attempt to get out on the porch and see if I can get this putty, putty knife. Well, putty, where are we at? There we are. Putty knife up under that uh, uh, glazing, glazing tape. Some windows actually have um, caulk. This one may have caulk. I don't know. We're going to find out. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause you for a minute. Uh, number one, I'm going to go get some gloves. Number two, uh, I need to work that knife. As you can see, I don't know if you can even see. Can you see that? I don't know. I'm working on the outside edge, and then what I will use is uh, this suction cup thing. I forget how this thing even works. Does it even work? I don't know how well it's going to work. Maybe I got a lick and stick. But anyway, I'm going to give me some gloves uh, in case this decides to break on me. And the reason I'm leaving uh, that top seal up there is it's going to kind of hold the window in place. Yeah, that ain't working with the crap. But. Uh, I, it should have enough adhesive on it to where I can reach out, push in, and then grab the window. So, hold on a sec. Who doggy? I ain't gonna lie. That's a job. Okay. It's not even all that hot today. I don't know. Maybe 70. Huh, right now, maybe 75. But, uh, if you're gonna do this, uh, definitely get you a very, very strong, uh, putty knife. This thing was bending um, quite a bit. I was going to snap. That's the only metal one I got. I got a big fat one. But I hope, I hope, where is that little tool? And this window ain't going nowhere, that's for sure. I'm gonna see if I got enough of that putty loose to push this out. I may have to pause you up and do some more. I'm telling you, man, that stuff is in there. It is freaking in there. And then you start sweating horribly bad out there pushing on this thing. We're trying to push that putty back to the point where you can release the window. Uh, yeah. So, let me go out here.
Let's see if that'll give me enough to move it in here. Oh man, it's hitting that damn. It's hitting that screw down here. Okay. Yeah. I tried. There's two screws here. There's a sticker on top. It says do not remove. And buddy, let me tell you, they're in there really tight. So let me see if I can pry up under it. Get it over that screw. I'm trying to avoid breaking any glass. There. Okay. Because you know, that's a mirror, seven years bad luck. My bad. They actually did use caulk on this one. Which I do have clear caulk. There you go. Money shot. Okay, so that is up. All right, now I'm gonna have to spend the next probably hour trying to get all of this uh, caulk off the window. I don't know if this little plastic one's gonna whoa, do the trick. Don't want that flying out the window. Go off the front porch and I gotta go get it. You know what? I may go grab some razor blades. That might be easier. So, okay, well, I got the money shot. We got it out. And then uh, I'm debating now that, uh, let me make sure those little doohickeys didn't come off with the window. No, they did not. So those little things I was telling you about, there's two down here, one here, one here, and there's none at the top. So yeah, when we get it all done and clean, um, and we get our caulk or glazing tape, whatever it is we're going to use, uh, get all this clean, you set it on the bottom, and then you push it in. So let me get some razor blades. I'm not going to bore you with uh, having you watch me scrape some of this. So uh, yeah, like I said, I think it took me, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, you know, to get in behind this uh, caulk. Uh, not a fun job. So I'll be back. Oh, I don't think I've abandoned you. I am working at getting this. It is tape, by the way. I thought it was caulk. It is not. It is tape. And this, I'm telling you guys, is the stickiest stuff known to man. I have tried razor blade. This plastic one seems to do the trick the best. Uh, it does help. I tried Goo Gone, getting some of this residue off of here, and Eh, it's a crapshoot. So I went and got some acetone, because who doesn't like the smell of acetone? Uh, and it is marginally better. Uh, but I found that the uh, razor blade likes to cut into the plastic, the vinyl. So I uh, kind of ixnade on the uh, razor blade. So it is a very what time today? What time is it? It's 1.30. I've been at this for probably about 25, 30 minutes. Figured I would just bring you back to kind of show you what I'm doing. Um, now I can, I can use caulk uh, putting this back in. I do have some clear caulk. You just want to make sure that it is uh, rated for uh, sticking to vinyl, sticking to glass, and it is. And I've also got uh, this roll here of double-sided insulated window tape. I call this stuff. Uh, let me look at this here in a minute. Actually, let's look at it now because I want to see how thick this stuff is because. I don't know, that stuff up there is, 
pretty thin. Maybe it's not quite an eighth. See how thick this stuff is. As opposed to that stuff. Well, that should work. I guess. Kind of hard to tell. It looks to be about the same thickness. And it is what was recommended for um, doing this kind of thing. So. It's just a major pain in the butt, that's for sure. Uh, does it have to be completely clean? I don't think so. Well, I mean, it's got to be clean, but I think if there's some of this stuff left on there, as long as there ain't big old hunks of it, I think it'll be fine. This stuff is some seriously, seriously sticky stuff. Here is. Here's what I've got so far. I'll tell you what, this stuff definitely the glass would break before this stuff would ever come loose. And I went. I got my. I brought up clear caulk. I'm still. I don't think it matters either way because it'll stick to that and then you got your your channels here these um, which is what goes back down in here like so uh, once you got the window back in trying to see which side is the rubber side there it is just like that uh, and I did bring up a plastic hammer and a couple pieces of wood <coughs> to uh, hammer them back down in. I still got to remember from that last episode I did, I still got to take that window out in that other bedroom behind us and put this stuff on it. Lowe's, I will give them, I will give Lowe's uh, credit for that. They did pay for that roll of tape that I got on Amazon. Because they don't carry it. But oh, I probably I went on probably went on my rant in that last video. These are lifetime replacement windows. Yeah, they'll replace the glass, but they uh, apparently they don't make the frame for it anymore. So I guess they ought to be a little more specific and state, yeah, we'll replace the glass, but we're not going to replace the uh, actual vinyl sash part. Yeah, you know, and honestly, I don't know how these things... I'll show you. I don't know how these things... where they... where they get... I mean, you see how dingy that looks. Where the heck did the seal break? I got no clue, man. But, so I got to unwrap the other window. Um, look on there. I don't see any marks. I know the, the window in the back had marks on it. As uh, what was up, what was down. window has no such marks. Yeah, this stuff is so super sticky. And you would think, you know, when you scrape it, uh, it just sticks to the part you scraped it up to. These top pieces are kind of a pain because you really can't get no leverage. 
Can't really get in behind it. Nope. Let me try the razor blade here, see if that works any better. You probably can't see much of me standing up here. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to pause you, get the rest of this off, and I'll bring you back. Well, guys, I say we got a problem. Old window on the left, new window on the right. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, uh, this is a no-brainer. I'll put a few tacks of this stuff in here. Uh, put the edges down just to hold the window in place and I'm gonna have to get a hold of Lowe's because uh, definitely the wrong window that sucks Look at that. quite a bit different taller and wider so let me get it back into place and I'll bring you guys right back all right I'm going to just set this back in You can see I got four strips. I got one at the top, one at the bottom, two on the sides, about the middle. Good thing this window did not break. i tell you what though, I probably ought to try to get some of this goo off of here. Let me see how well that's gonna come off. some more razor blades. I'm going to scrape all that off there. Uh, yeah, don't want it to look like total crap. So, hold on, man. I'll be right back. All right, I got most of that stuff scraped off there. Uh, yeah, trust me, it's a pain in the ass to get it off of the glass, too. So, um, this is the outside. Tell you what, I am glad that that window didn't break because I'd have been screwed. I think it's got to be perfect. I think we just got to get it in there. Those uh, things got to hold it. piece of wood and a plastic hammer. Uh, I did measure the window. Definitely ain't coming out. That 
that just pushes up against the glass. What a bummer, guys. I was hoping to have this fixed. Put that bottom piece in, kind of bend it. Probably out and even screw with the other side because I'm going to take it right back off. But I will. I don't want it to come out. There you have it. The old crappy window is back in. Doesn't look any worse for the wear. So I'll go ahead and throw this up. And then when we get the uh, new window, I'll throw that in the car, take the lows. And I'll try to get over there tomorrow. I guarantee you it's probably going to take them about a month to give me that glass. So I think that's about how long it took before. And uh, we'll, we'll come back. Sorry we didn't get to finish the job, but I mean, we kind of did because you got to see exactly how the window goes in there. Granted, I didn't tape all the way around it, but because I'm going to take it right back out, so I don't want to mess with trying to peel all that sticky tape off. But yeah, and uh, nothing seemed to help. It helped. The acetone helped on the glass with a 3M uh, Scotch Brite uh, pad. Uh, wet it and then scrape it with the razor. Uh, that seemed to help, but nothing really seemed to help getting that sticky stuff off that vinyl. But, anywho, uh, hey, thanks for hanging out. Even though we didn't uh, accomplish exactly what I wanted to accomplish, it's still, well, it's back in place and it didn't break. So I guess that's the most important thing. Um, so, anyway, I'll wrap this up and I will catch you guys on the next project. So, see you around.